subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! So guys, we are back. We have survived the travel back. We are a bit jet lagged still, but yeah, it is what it is. So we're just gonna give you a recap, a rundown of World's Strongest Man. The champ's here, the champ's here. And just see how it went. I don't know who that was, but yeah, ignore that voice. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna start off with how the whole 10 days we were out there went. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was uh, I, I think, before we start speaking about the, the competition, actually competing, it was one of the most kind of relaxed um, environments out there. All the crew, they said the same as well. So I think the world's um, fair play to them. It was the best and most stress-free competition I've been in. There was nice actually getting a chill with the crew and the organisers as well before the competition. Mm -hmm. Usually they're running off their feet, so it was very nicely done, very nice location, and yeah, it was very good and the so normally what happens when we get out to worlds um you get like athlete liaisons that look after each group um but the guys this year and every other year as well but this year especially they they were top notch um the guys were getting the ice filled up every day for us they couldn't really do enough for us it was it, it was so good i even got um, then you need thank you for doing my laundry she did my laundry one day so she came in my wrong uh, five guy order Apart from that, it was sure perfect. Good, yeah. Yeah. And the same with the physios as well. Um, really good physios. It, it was just really, really run um, the right way. And where we were set up, it was like air conditioned as well. Um, so yeah, that, that just a little bit of a chat about Worlds. And um, yeah, big shout out to the organisers. We know it's not an easy um, ask to get us all together, especially in those times. So it was pretty cool. So thank you very much. So without further ado, Let's have a wee chat about the heats. Um, so in your group you had... Trey, Mark, Felix, Evan Singleton and Johnny Hasson. Some so good guys. Um, what was your standout performance? Yeah, all good guys. Um, all groups were hard this year. Um, I mean, I came top three in every event and still had to do the stone -off, So that's how kind of uh, close and competitive the groups are. I've always said we're world strongest man like the group stages is the hardest stage to get out of. Um, 100% for me it is. You know, this year you couldn't be, there, could, there was no tactics, you couldn't be, oh, Luke's going through, so I'll get five reps here. It was none of that kind of stuff. You had to literally go all out in most events. So yeah, I did my best, you know, top three in every event, got to the stone off with my daddy, who's from the UK, Mark Felix. Uh, I got that I had to put him out, but you know, it's, it is what it is. But I mean, Mark Felix, a big shout out to him as well. He performed. Amazing in the qualifying heats as well, you know. Mm. Um, but unfortunately, I had to put the legend out of the at the qualifying. So it was just a better sweet moment. But um, with stones for me as well this year, we didn't have to. We got an extra day's rest as well. Like last year, no last man standing stone, we had to go straight into the next day event. So I didn't ex I didn't uh, use too much energy in the stones, and then had that whole day's rest afterwards. But yeah, uh, a very good battle with me and Trey. Everyone was good in the group. Uh, everyone took points off each other and it was a very fun, uh, like, my group was very fun to be part of and it was, you had to be on the ball, so. What about, uh, in the group, uh, five, so I was going to try and beat in French, but I didn't work. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, I think, well, a lot of people kind of touted our group as a group of death, um, and I think from the instant it kind of set off, it was, um, obviously having the returning champ. Alexi, Novikov with Kevin Fairs, Bobby, um, and who was it? Well, it was supposed to be Gav, Gav Bolton, but then it got uh, swapped out with Irvin. Irvin Tunch is, is a great strong man, so it was just back and forth. Our group was, I can't wait for you guys to watch it, honestly. It was nail biting. Every event, we were just taking points off each other. I think I came second in pretty much all the events, apart from the pickaxe hold. Um, the press medley for me was, oh, was so cool to be part of. Um, Novikov and I were like sharing, it was like points of a second between each event, which was just insane. Um, and yeah, going in the stone off with, with Kev, it was, 
Yeah, it was really tough. It was I was on the very very limit of my capabilities, and and a big shout out to Kevin for for kind of pushing me to that. It was absolutely yeah mentally draining and physically draining. Um, that Friday we needed a day off. Um, I just felt absolutely exhausted. Um, yeah, a couple of things kind of made a couple of stupid errors in the in the heats that kind of yeah tweaked I tweaked a couple of things in my body. But thankfully, excuse me, thankfully the adrenaline I think got us both through. Um, I've, I've broken my foot. You've torn your hamstring. Um, <laughs> Not bad for a, for a little day in the office, boy. Isn't yeah, it? so it was. Really kind of... And wait, it's a micro tear before anybody asks me, is it really serious? It's not, trust me. But, you know, just saying that, you know, you have to push through those injuries yeah, yeah. and that's really, you know, that blood, guts and everything else that we've got to put into it, that's really what we had to do to kind of get to the final and that's a credit to everyone competing there. Um, I'm just so happy to make the final for this. I don't think anybody else that qualified a final was 100% going into it because they had to push their bodies mm. to the limit. There wasn't any, like I said, tactic, tactics. Mm. Like, you literally had to go all out because every person in every group took, took a points, you know? So it was, a uh, yeah, and also the heat as well. Like, mm. out there going 100% with 45 degree heat hitting you, it's, yeah, it can drain you and exhaust you. And we needed that day rest. I think that day rest was important. If we didn't have that, I think there would have been a lot more kind of injuries and a lot of kind of people t knocking out. Mm. Well, big time for sure. So no, that was good. And then, yeah, so we started the final on Saturday. Um, pretty cool events, really going through the medley, then the turntable, keg toss, log press, deadlift, and then finishing up in, with the stones. Um, yeah, really tough events. Everyone just battled it out. You talk about war horses, JF Caron tore his hamstring in the first event. And he, and geez, he kept going. <laughs> absolutely insane. Um, honestly, for me, as a, as a strong man fan, um, maybe my other bias because I was in it, but I think this is going to be one of the most epic shows a world strongest man that there's ever been. Um, it was just insane. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. We can't say too much. You, you, obviously, you guys know who won. But um, we can't go into kind of too much depth on, on how the, the kind of events went, but it was... But just, we'll let you know, it's going to be a very, very good watch. It's going to be intense. You're going to be on the edge of your seat mm -hmm. come Christmas time, aren't you? Yeah, Christmas is going to be such a good watch. It was so cool to have Jordan and Ruri out there filming for the documentary. So we've got all the, the backstage footage the in the hotel, our thoughts, the preparation that we put in. The documentary is going to be, honestly, I think it's going to be one of the best documentaries you'll ever see, obviously. But um, that's going to be really cool. But um, yeah, just really excited. The, the world's team just put on such a great show and um, can't wait for you guys to watch it back. Wish we could kind of tell you and, and show you all the events now because it was just nail biting. Um, the way the points were going, Tom had a huge lead going into day two. Brian came back, I came back, um, you know, people say that they're gutted for me and where I finished, but honestly the the result, the, the place where I finished, it, it doesn't, doesn't put me up or down at all because I know for me I was one of the star performers here at World Strongest Man this year and um, that's given me the, the incentive to kind of or both, I think, for us, both coming us, yeah, the motivation and, and the desire that we want to come back in 2022 and yeah, dominate um, everything. That's what we want. And um, really excited to carry on 2021 with the Giants live shows. Um, Four weeks time, Royal Albert Hall. Come see the, the boys in action. 24th of July, boys, yeah, in cool. London. And uh, we've got the Loglift Championships. Um, I'm gonna go down. Yeah, and I can let Luke have that one. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So yeah, the World Championships will be on. So I'll be going down there to break that record. Hopefully, you guys can come. And we've got Glasgow, the first ever. I'll be Luke's fanboy in that one. <laughs> I'll actually go. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks. Then we've got the deadlift champs. Uh, we've got Giants live basically every month for this. Uh, you guys know. You go onto the website and you'll see every comp. Basically, we're gonna probably be at every single one this year. Um, 
competing or not, you know, I'm going to be there. Uh, and then we've got Rogue Invitational, but we'll talk about all that soon. But yeah. we're just going to kind of get back to or get back on our feet, catch up with some sleep, and uh, start training for next year again because mm. there's going to be some big, big competitions coming up. World is going to be big again next year, so mm. world is going to be huge. But it just special shout obviously goes to all our team. You know, without you guys. We wouldn't be half the people we are. You know, Dan, special guy, really special guy. Thank you for all the work you put in, all the motivation you give us. Nathan for looking after us out in the world, that was incredible. Um, the time you put in, kind of telling us what to eat, when to eat. Yeah, insane. Um, Dan, Nathan, Amy, Sinead, the wife's family. I don't think you can get a better team than those three people I've mentioned. Uh, the best coach, the best nutritionist, and the best I just say mental. I don't know. Psychologist. That's the one. Psychologist in the world. Sorry, Amy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You, know, you know, I'm still dopey, Amy, but yeah, I can still lift weights. So it's, I know three people have changed uh, my mindset in, from Bahrain to World Strongest Man as well. Um, that's important, the uh, Bahrain thing as well, to talk because people ripped me and Luke off when we went to Bahrain and we didn't finish in the top three. Uh, they were always like, blah this, blah, blah that. But um, we've always said World Strongest Man's our biggest goal and having Amy after Bahrain has really kind of, mm. geez, has put, well you'll see at Worlds how our mindsets were, mm -hmm. how me and Luke were together but we were still more separate, we did our own things and then we came together when it was important whereas we never really done that before, mm. Luke's been more for me too much and vice versa but when you see at Worlds Strongest Man, there's no point explaining it, you'll wait and see what, you'll see it all then. Yeah but just that, yeah just a, a, a special thank you to all those yeah. people, um, it was, it was a team effort on, on, on our all our halves. Um and yeah, we're we're super excited. Well, you make me smell your armpits. I'm starting stretching. Disgusting. Just because you're the I've got the strongest armpits in the world. I'm not denying that. I've never denied that since you were about ten. <laughs> but yeah, just cool to have everyone on board and then the welcome back that we got is, is incredible and um yeah, just just really kind of humbling that everyone's kind of saying well done, and um, obviously Tom winning it the way he did against Brian um, was something special. You know, Brian's one of, if not the greatest strong men of all time. Um, so for Tom to hold his nerve and and kind of go out and do what he did was something really special. And, um, can't wait for you guys to watch it back. It just, I think everyone will be sh shedding a couple of tears watching it because it was pretty emotional. Being there was emotional um, and yeah, a testament, I think, to us in our training, how how much we've improved, um, as Tom says, mentally as well as physically. Um, and that doesn't just happen overnight, you know, that takes like months and months and months of, of dedication and hard work and um, really installing that self-belief that we now have in, in abundance. And yeah, we're, re re we're really ready just to keep that momentum going in that, um, that success that, that we want to have is just going to go from, you know, we're still relatively here, but we're just going to make it sky high, and that's where we want to be, is in, in a different atmosphere. That's where we're going. And I think with all the team, the best team around us in the world, I think we, we've got that, um, all the capabilities and the potential to do that. So, yeah, we're pretty gonna, cool. We're going to create a new planet. Create a new planet. Called Spice. Never mind the legacy, we're creating a new planet called I'm Spice. I'm going to take a rocket to it. You're going to take a come rocket to planet Spice. I'm going to call it Rocket and Spice. Rocket uh, and Spice. What's going anyway, on? guys, okay. tune in for World Strawless Man. New Year's Day, I think. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being spicy. Thank you for smiling and staying safe. And thank you for all the support and the messages over the last 15 to 10 to 15 days it's been great uh and yeah it's been humbling thank you guys <laughs> humbling is that a word shut up <laughs> stay safe smile and stay spicy Gypsy! keep ringing that little bell ding -a ling -a ling -a ling come on champ come on champ ding ding <laughs>